Hey, what's up, you guys? This is different, huh? Like, I mean, I have my hair down, and I feel like it's a good day, and I have no makeup on, so you know what that means? It's another must or bust day! Yay! Um, one of the, or the product I'm going to be reviewing today is actually one that I just showed you guys in the collective haul video, um, and it is this Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. I really wanted to do a review on this because I haven't used it yet, and, you know, I really wanted to see how it worked. So, yeah, I'm going to do that for you guys today. I have my little mirror set up over here, so I can actually tell you how the coverage is because the lighting is so much better in my mirror than it is on the camera. I look really white right now, and I know that that's not the best thing, especially for foundation when you're talking about coverage. So let's open up the packaging. Uh, it's a wooden top, it looks like, or, you know, plastic wood looking like things. And then on the inside, if you haven't seen the collective haul yet, on the inside there's like this netting there and it's loose powder foundation. And you use this brush, which is also from Tarte. This is like their airbrush kabuki or something like that. And you just like tap it in there and then, you know, put it on your face and just blend it out. And yeah, you get a airbrushed look for your face. So that's what I'm going to be reviewing for you today. Let's start, you know, putting it on. So yeah, let's go. I'm so excited. I haven't used this yet and I like really have been wanting to. There's like dust flying. It looks like smoke. But the, you know, the the transfer from the container to the brush is very noticeable, as you can see. I got the color light medium neutral. So, but they have like, I think 11 different colors you can choose from. So, yeah, let's go ahead and I have no makeup on. So, you know, let's see how this works. Oh god, my skin is really bad right here. I just noticed that when I looked in the in the mirror. Perfect day to test foundation then, right? So the netting thing, the idea in theory, you know, works really well, but I'm not sure about the brush, you know, use with it. It does look really nice though. I feel like the coverage is not as nice as I would have hoped, but I feel like with some concealer, it would be, you know, perfect for me, especially right now, because I've, I'm noticing all these different, like, spots that could have been concealed. But. And putting them on the problem spots right now, it does, like, you know, because I have some spots on my chin right now, and so it does, like, make them not as red and flared looking, which is nice. Sorry if I'm, like, looking away. I'm, like, looking into the actual mirror. But the the netting, in theory, seems like it would be a good idea, but it seems like the transfer is just really smoky, like it's really dusty, and there's not a lot actually getting on the brush. Which is weird because when I, I tested it in Sephora a little bit, like just on my hand, you know, and it seemed like, you know, it was a perfect idea. Like, I don't want to put too much pressure on the netting because I'm like, I don't want to break it or anything. But I do like the finish that it gives you. I mean, it like, you know that there's coverage, but it doesn't look like it. you have, like, you know, makeup on, which is nice. And I picked a really, like, good shade for myself because, like, I can't even... It doesn't even seem like I even have any makeup on. 
But yeah, so I have applied it, you know, pretty much everywhere. And basically what I can say about it is that the coverage is not so great. Like if you have, you know, skin issues, I wouldn't really choose this foundation to be something that you would want to try. Oh, see, now I feel like, hang on a second, I took the container and kind of like flipped it and then like patted on the back, like with the cap on, obviously, and it all came to like the top of the netting. See, this looks nice now. Like I used the little bit that came out to kind of like cover up the really flared out areas on my chin and on my one cheek. And it seems like you can it's very buildable is what I can say. Like I've been focusing on my chin and on this cheek over here and I've been building it up right in those places and like just looking in the mirror I can't really even tell that I have makeup on even though the flares are kind of you know covered and not as noticeable so it is buildable which I like um and the shade that I picked is like perfect for me and even I feel like even if I missed a spot it's not like as noticeable as if you were to miss a spot wearing a bronzer or you know, a concealer that was a bit too dark for you. So, yeah, I feel like it's a good good coverage. It's buildable. Um, you know, if you pick a good enough, if you pick a shade that is your color, it's, you know, almost not even noticeable that you're even wearing makeup. So, I feel like this is a trial. Like, I feel like, and I think that the, if I could talk today, that would be great. Um, I think that the powder itself was $36, I think, at Sephora, and the brush was like 26 so I would say definitely try out the powder. You might not need the brush as much. I just picked it up because they went in a set, but I would say definitely try picking up the powder. I'm sure you can just use a regular Kabuki brush for it as well. Um... But definitely go try them out in the store. Like, do not, I would not recommend buying this product online because there is so many different shades to choose from that you definitely want to go and, like, you know, try it on your hand or something like that. So, definitely do that. I feel this product is a must for, um, you know, just to have in your collection. Um, because it is really nice and buildable. And I'm actually, the more I'm looking at it, I actually really like it more natural look for foundation and it is really airy for summer and that's super nice you know because you don't want to be weighed down so yeah definitely for a powder foundation I give this powder a must so yeah definitely go to Sephora or Ulta and check them out um but yeah you can leave this video a thumbs up if you have tried the Tarte powder what did you guys think of it leave that down below in a comment because I would love to you know read about it and um you can subscribe and share this video and um follow my beauty blog it's down below also linked down below um so yeah i will see you all later bye